G'day, I'm Adam. And I'm Kira. And we're travelling around Australia on the big lap with our dog Reef. Leaving the beautiful coastal town of Robe wasn't easy, but there's plenty more awesome places we can't wait to see on our travels around Oz. Our next stop is Mount Gambier. Just chasing it, you can come like a good two to five meters, like there's heaps of space back here and it flattens out the further back you go. Keep going, keep going, stop. Yep. We've made it to camp. We are 10 minutes east of Mount Gambia, just on a private little hip camp, Pine Ridge. Um, so yeah, we're literally in a paddock and a camel farm. Um, but we're gonna use this as our base for a couple of days while we explore the Mount Gambia region before we cross over into Vic. DIY chucks. Do you need your shirt off for this? <laughs> or just like a flano on to be like lumberjack style. Who's going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh good boy. You're good. Reef likes it, reef approves. Oh yeah, fire drum. No bad. Just spring shocks. Not exactly level. That's all good. Just got some shade. Got some entertainment over here. Yep. And moo cows in the distance. Big fluffy dogs over there. The grass here was super soft, which is perfect for reef to laze around in, but it wasn't ideal for my jockey wheel, which just kept sinking. So I MacGyvered one of my stabiliser leg chocks with my trusty man size axe and made a new jockey wheel chock. Is this where you want the beer? Yeah, where's the, where's the beer? It's in the fridge, keeping cool. Do you know how long you're gonna be, mate? Do you want it out in the sun? Good boy, Reef. You ready to come outside? Come on. He's like, no, I'm good. It's nice and cold in here. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All set up. You got wood all in here. It's not a freezing just outside of Mount Gambia but the morning mist is beautiful check this out okay this morning we are going to go check out um, sinkhole lakes lookouts there's heaps to do here in Mount Gambia um, and the people in the visitor center were really lovely um, They've got lots of ideas if you've got a fur baby like us and you still want to explore around town. Um, but I'm hoping it warms up because my hands are now numb. Ah. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful hip camp, Pine Ridge. Um, just bring your levelers because there's 
not a level spot but yeah beautiful waking up to the cows so nice and relaxing I don't think you'll catch me living in a city ever again <laughs> This place has got to be seen to be believed. We're at the Umferston sinkhole today. The sinkhole started as a limestone cave until the roof chamber collapsed. This garden utopia is about 20 metres deep and 50 metres wide. It was made into a sunken garden by James Umferston in 1886. It's an easy walk down to the garden floor with viewing platforms and seating and barbecues to make the most of your visit. Dogs can be walked on lead around the top rim, but they can't go down into the sinkhole as it's home to hundreds of possums. It's best to come around sunset to spot them. I was lucky enough to have an early riser welcome me on the stairs down to this incredible place. So he's a birds. No yeah. possum. The mm. bees? No. What? I was too busy looking at the flowers. <laughs> That's where the bees were. What do you think? Yeah, it was pretty unreal. It's pretty cool how it's all just touched yeah. down. It's awesome. Welcome to the Blue Lake. How do you like it, Barnsley? It matches your glasses. It's nice. I just want to go for a swim. Mm. Does it say why it's blue? Yeah. Oh. Food dye. Must be food dye, yeah. Cool. <laughs> we'll read it properly later. We're too excited to look at it. The reason the lake is blue is a little too sciencey for me. Something to do with how hot it gets and how that affects the calcium in the water, creating microcrystals that scatter blue light. As inviting as it is, unfortunately you can't swim in this lake. There is a walk trail with plenty of vantage points to take in the scenery of this dormant volcano. on a uh, nice hike up a volcano. Um, it's already covered in all of this pollen. But yeah, we're going up there. This hike along the crater rim takes about an hour. It's 1.9 kilometers, though it is easy to walk up and there are benches along the way for breaks. When you make it to the top and catch your breath, try not to lose that breath from the breathtaking views while you're at the summit with a 360 degree view of the surrounding countryside and into the crater. What a magical spot and all to myself doesn't get much better than this with a quick dip after the hike in the little blue lake a hot tip bring some goggles as there's some fish swimming around in here
we enjoyed another stunning sunset in South Australia for our last night in the state. Welcome to the around and about the wave signals. So this is just a run through of how when you're on the road and you see someone coming towards you, just the little little waves that you give to each other, and these are what they're called. So we've got the first one, which is the normal one, the typical Aussie one, which is the g'day, just the single finger, just let them know, hey, I see ya, g'day mate, and that's it. Uh, number two is the my favourite, which is just two fingers, peace. So you see someone coming, just a quick little, like that, makes them think, uh, they're gonna have a great day, you know? Peace and out, zen and out and all the rest. One's called the manta ray, which is just a quick boom. Little yeah. lamb. Little lamb on the side. So you see someone coming with, but they have to have a manta ray, otherwise it's just weird. At least you know? a new age caravan. A manta ray, ideally. No, I'll, only, I'll only throw that up to manta rays. So I'll just do a big M, just so they know. Um, another one we've got, is one of the, the all-time favorites back in my childhood days is uh, a movie called The Little Rascals. I'm not sure if you heard of it, but if you see someone coming, just to brighten up their day, you throw a quick little little rascals at them and uh, the delayed one. So you might see someone coming, they've given you the wave and you're like, oh crap. So you've thrown it up, but it's, you know, it's you, just a bit delayed. The intentions are there, not that yeah. they'd ever see. You nah. could move there. But, but you feel good in yourself you because, good. you know, you gave them a wave. <laughs> Sometimes you hit them on the two-way and just let them know, hey, I did give them a wave. <laughs> let us know your special waves. <laughs> Woohoo! Another state border cross, guys. How exciting. There was no sign. It was a blink-and-you-miss-it opportunity. Check this place out close to the border with plenty of room. It's a donation camp right next to a river, so it's great for a swim or a fish. Take a short walk to the pub or general store, or you can keep back by the fireplace in the picnic area. We love the natural spring water tap, it tasted so good. It was an easy section to pull into, just off the main drag. We filled up the bottles and then we took off. All right guys, that's South Australia all done and dusted. We can't wait to show you around Victoria. We'll see you next time when we're exploring around and about. Thanks for watching guys.